Our new topic will be about the differentiation rules and these are the rules on finding the differential for the, the given for the given algebraic functions. In finding for the derivative of constant that is equal to zero. The second one, this is called the power rule. The derivative of u raised to n is equal to n times u raised to n minus 1 times the derivative of u. The third one is the derivative of u plus v that is equal to du or the derivative of u plus dv, the derivative of v. And then multiplication, deri uh, derivative of u times v is equal to u dv plus v du or u taking the first Taking the first variable u and then taking the derivative of v, the second variable, plus v, the second variable, times the derivative of the first variable u. And then division rule, the derivative of u divided by v is equal to v times derivative of u minus u times derivative of v all over v squared. So, for example, we have to differentiate the following functions. Number 1, y is equal to 3. And we all know, on the rule number 1, the differential of any constant is equal to 0. So, dy over dx is equal to 0 or dy over dx is equal to y prime. So, y prime is equal to 0. Second example, y is equal to pi over 2. And since pi is constant, so that is equal to 0 also. The third example, y is equal to x cubed. Using the general power rule, we have, to, we have to bring down the exponent. So that is equal to dy over dx is equal to 3x squared or y prime is equal to 3x squared since 3 minus 1 is 2. And then z is equal to t raised to the exponent of 5 over 2 or 5 halves. And then finding for the derivative of z with respect to t, so that is dz over dt. So bringing down the exponent which is negative 5 over 2 times t and then subtracting 1 to negative 5 over 2 then minus 1, that results to negative 7 over 2 yung ating exponent. The fifth example, y is equal to 5 minus 4x plus 7x cubed minus x to the fifth power. And then, finding for y prime, derivative of 5 or the constant is 0. Derivative of negative 4x is negative 4 plus 7x cubed, that is 7 times 3, which is 21, and then 3 minus 1 is 2, minus 5x raised to the 4th power. And simplifying, that is equal to negative 4 plus 21x squared minus, ne uh, minus 5x raised to the 4th power. Next example, x is equal to the square root of t minus 1 over square root of t. Or we can transform this one into the exponential form. x is equal to t raised to 1 half because square root is also the power of 1 half. Minus t raised to the power of negative 1 half since yung square root natin dito is nasa ilalim or denominator ng ating 1. So yung exponent niya is negative. And then deriving dx over dt bringing down 1 half times t raised to negative 1 half since 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half plus kasi negative times negative is positive bringing down 1 half times t and then raised to negative 3 halves since negative 1 half minus 1 is negative 3 halves. And so our dx over dt is equal to 1 over 2 square root of t plus 1 over 2 t square root of t. 
Since negative lahat ng exponents natin, pwede natin siyang gawing denominator. The next example, y is equal to 1 plus x squared times 3 minus 2x. You can use this method. You can use the multiplication method. Or you can use the FOIL method first and then gagamit kayo ng power rule. Pero dito ginamit ko yung multiplication rule. Taking the first term, 1 plus x squared, and then deriving the second term, which is negative 2, plus the second term, which is 3 minus 2x, then the derivative of the first term is equal to 2x. And then simplifying, that is negative 2 minus 2x squared plus 6x minus 4x squared. And then combining the negative 2x squared and negative 4x squared, the y prime is equal to negative 2 plus 6x minus 6x squared. Next, y is equal to 1 over 3x minus 2 using the division rule. So, taking the denominator first, 3x minus 2, times the derivative of numerator, which is 0, minus the numerator 1, times the derivative of denominator, which is 3. And then, squaring the denominator, which is 3x minus 2. And then, canceling out this, 3x minus 2, kasi magiging 0 siya. Yung matitira sa ating numerator is only negative 3. And then, all over 3x minus 2 squared. Next, z is equal to 1 plus t, all over 3 minus 2 squared. Taking first the denominator, which is 3 minus t squared. And then, deriving the numerator, which is 1 minus the numerator 1 plus t times derivative of denominator which is negative 2t. And then squaring the denominator 3 minus t squared quantity squared. And then simplifying the numerator that is 3 minus t squared plus 2t plus 2t squared all over 3 minus t squared quantity squared. That is equal to 3 plus 2t plus t squared all over 3 minus t squared quantity squared. And then, next example, we have to find the slope of the curve which has the equation of y is equal to x squared minus 5x plus 4 at point 1, 0. Then first, we have to derive for dy over dx that is equal to 2x minus 5. And then, since dy over dx is our slope, so our slope now is equal to 2 times 1 since x is equal to 1 minus 5 and that is equal to negative 3. So that is our slope. So that is all for our topic about the differentiation rules. So for your questions, just comment down on our discussion section in Schoology.